everyone. For this first unit, we are going to talk about variables and expressions. The objective is to write mathematical expressions for verbal expressions and vice versa. The focus question is how is an algebraic expression different from a numerical expression? It's important to understand the vocabulary before you understand the math computation part of this. The vocabulary words for this unit is quantity, variable, algebraic expression, numerical expression, and power or exponent. Quantity is defined as anything that can be measured or counted. A variable is a letter that represents the value or values of a quantity. Algebraic expression is a mathematical phrase that includes one or more variables. A numerical expression is a mathematical phrase involving numbers and operation symbols, but no variables. A power or exponent is an expression that represents repeated multiplication of the same factor or number. So as a vocabulary exercise for this unit, what I'm asking you to do is I want you to complete this activity um, called Variables and Expressions Vocabulary. And each of you will um, be able to make a copy of this through Canvas. So it'll be available under the Assignments tab or the Modules tab. Um, you click on it, it'll force you to make a copy. You'll click Make a Copy and it'll be saved to your Google Drive um, using your EFCTS email. So what you'll do is you'll open this up and I already have the title page for you and you just insert your name here. You can change the background if you wish. Um, you don't have to. And then what you're going to do is you're going to write the definition in the left hand corner. So the definition that I gave you in the PowerPoint. That's what you're going to write in the left hand corner. Um, the term name goes in the middle. So you'll just click on the text box and insert the name definition in your own words. So for example, um, and I provide an example on the next um, page, but you will take the definition and you can look um, you can look a little bit on the internet. I don't want you to take an, a definition straight from the internet, but if you need to look a little bit more to get a better idea of what it is, um, you can look on the internet. But I want you to take the definition and put it in your own words to where you understand what it is. So it shows me that you understand what that term means. Um, and then you'll provide exa an example or examples down in this box and non-examples in this box. Um, so if I ask you, let's say the term's a negative number, you would put negative 5 here. For a non-example, you would put the positive, um, like positive 5 or 10 or whatever. So I provided um, an example on this slide. Um, so rational number. Um, I use as an example, it's something we'll learn about a little later. Um, but you can see this definition is really complex. So um, are a set of all numbers which can be expressed in the form a over b where a, where a and b are integers and b is not equal to zero. It can be expressed as terminating or repeating decimals. So really all that's saying is a rational number is any real number that ends or repeats. So that shows uh, me that I know what that means and that's a, a definition that I can understand and can um, use in class. And then down here I provided some examples so you can see that these all end or repeat. So um, those are examples and the non-examples um, this does not end or repeat right here and then pi is always irrational which doesn't end or repeat. So um, that's an example you can use when you're doing this. I already um, provided you with the slides, the template for the slides. So all you have to do is click on um, the box and type in as you need to. So um, if you have any questions, you can always contact me. Um, but this is what your vocabulary assignment is for this unit.